Hi everyone, I just thought I'd come on and show you how to do one of these canvases. I've had a couple of uh, requests for them and Renji, I hope you don't mind me doing um, a tutorial on this. I mean, um, it's just I've had so many people requesting it and uh, so I might as well show them how to do it. Now what I've done, I'm just doing a small canvas just to show you how to do them. Uh, and I've taken a knife and I've slit it straight down from the top to the bottom, side to side and then corner to corner. And you don't have to go right in. Um, and then I'm, you, all you do is you peel them back uh, wherever you want to. Or ha You can have that done like that. Just let me show you, sorry. You can, you can pull it back and bend it like that and then you can curl that eventually. Or you can twist them in like that. I'm not bothered which way mine goes at all. So I'm just going to glue this one in like that, like a cone. And that's all I'm going to do basically for that one. I mean that one's the opposite way. And they're all different ways, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Oh, my glue gun is... I need the other glue sticks and I'm waiting for them to come in. See, I'll do that and then I will curl that one back. I think I'll curl that one under. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. You just do whatever you like with them. And they're just great. They're really fun. I'm going to add some texture to this one. Now, I'm going to have that one. Oh, come on, glue stick. A uh, glue gun, I mean. I'm just going to add that one like that. And just hold it in to dry. I might just pin that one back like that as well. Sorry, I'm going to have to change my glue stick. I'm wasting so much, it's unbelievable. And I hate waste, as you know. So I'm just going to pin that one back like that. Like that. Okay, so... And then what I'm going to do, hope you can see this, I'm just going to get my textured um, modelling paste. This is a, um, now am I using that one or not? Shall I use the other one? No, nope, not that one. <coughs> Hang on a minute. Uh, let me just see. i just get the ordinary modelling paste out, I think. Uh, and a brush. Ray's just come in and I'm just filming. How's that? I'm guaranteed he's going to come in. Just when you're trying to get on. <laughs> just take some modelling paste and this is the Winder and Newton. Just plain. Um. I put them in. I'm in. I'm in the middle of filming. And I'm just gonna texturize this. And it's just basically adding that on. I'm just in the middle of filming. Okay, so I'm just adding the texture wherever. In fact, all over it, I'm not, you know fussed about it whatsoever. It's just to give it a bit more of a look when it's sprayed, you see. Give it a bit of texture. Oh, 
like that. I might get a little bit more texture on here. But if, uh, if you've never done a canvas before, get one and try it because you do not need to follow any rules or regulations regarding what you do with it. It is completely up to you. There's no right and wrong way of doing one and I'm sure Renji will vouch that for me. Um, there's, uh, in art there's no right and wrong way to do anything. Whatever anybody says. Art is art. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to do the sides as well and it's just stippling it, it's what you call a stipple and you push it up and down like that it is stippling just to give it texture Okay, like that. And I'll leave the corner bits and just do that in a minute when I've got this set down. And this will have to dry, so I will prepare the backboard that's going in it. So right now, I'm just going to, if I can grab hold of it somehow, finish the sides. Like that. So that's great. I'm happy with that. Um, just put my brush to soak. Like that. And we'll do a backboard. And I'm just going to pop that to dry. I might dry that off with the heat gun yet. Uh, but I need just to... Let me have a look. Just to get the size of the board, in fact I have some of these boards that I can use, which shall we use that one, if it will fit, I think it will, we use one of these, it's just as good. Now to get the size, don't measure it like that, bring it in, top and side, um, about a centimetre like that and you'll get a perfect fit just mark it off uh, and then cut it There you go, and it doesn't matter about that bit there, you're not going to see it. Uh, and that is your perfect fit, like that, a good edge all the way around. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do, let me see, hmm, yeah, I'm going to have to mark that a little bit, so just get my ruler. Um, if I mark that in two centimetres like that I'm just giving myself a guide for the background See. So I can go over it slightly, but uh, it'll just give me the guide for it. Just pop that one back so I don't need that one anymore. So, what I'm going to do now is just give that a lick of paint, which is um, 
the white acrylic. I'm just going to have a drink, I'm thirsty. So I just need my brush. I need to wash my brushes. <laughs> I'll leave them soaking, but I should wash them every day, and I don't. So what I'm going to do is just to... It's just a quick... flick of paint. Yeah, Ray's just come in and said, what are the dogs doing in the cage? <laughs> Put them in there and out of the way. We're messing and fighting about. They can play in the cage. It's a big one that we have in the kitchen. Really big. And uh, there's plenty of room for the pair of them. You know, when they're not even six months old, they're still puppies. Although they're big. Huge! <laughs> one of them is. So all I'm going to do now is just to check very carefully that, that yes, that will definitely cover that. So that's fine. That's all I need for that. And I'm going to dry that off and uh, stencil it. So I will need the modelling paste back again. Let me dry the paints. I just thought I'd come on and show you uh, a small one. I mean, you could paint the whole one white, but it's silly because what I find is that the chipboard with the paint on doesn't stick um, to the back of the canvas as much as what it would unless you've got a stapler of course and I can't find my big one it's gone astray um. what I have got uh, is one of these little birds that I'm going to put into the, see, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to use it to put my little bird in, because I like that, um, and it will just glue into the back, so I'm going to stencil this now, and I have this, which uh, I quite like the pattern on this one, Take my modelling paste. Like that. And just peel that back um, leave that to one side a minute and then all I'm going to do is clean any excess up is take all that excess off around the edge I don't want to prevent anything from sticking Wipe that clean. There we go. <coughs> Pop that back. 
I shall wash that shortly. And uh, we're going to dry this off. Now you can wait until it starts to bubble, you know, and it, it gives it a little bit more dimension. See, it's starting to raise it up. I'm not sure if you can see that. I think that's it, hopefully. going to colour mine. Let me see what I'm going to do. I don't know. Wait a minute because I've got lots of different. I like that pink. Yeah, I'm going to use this one, I think. I've got this, which is the Viva, and it's the pink, pearlized pink. So I'm going to use this. Dropped it straight onto my blooming thing, you silly nana. Ugh. Can't wait. We're going back to the warehouse, like I said, tomorrow. Um, and I can't wait. It's wait. It's uh, I didn't get a chance to see everything I wanted to see last week. I can't wait to see what uh, bargains we can come back with. Because they really did have quite a bit. I think that's enough to spread over. And then what I'm going to do with it is just take a baby wipe. This might have to be done in a couple of videos, I'm not sure yet. Just take a baby wipe. And scrape a bit of that off to get that shabby sheet look. <laughs> like that, I love that. That's what I want. Uh, and then I'm gonna dry that.
Now don't worry if you don't have stencils. If you have embossing folders, then you can get that similar sort of look. You just emboss your card and stick the card onto the background. So just think outside the box of different ways you can do things. Now I kind of like that, but I'm also going to put some rubber book on it as well. Uh, and I'm going to use the gold. And that's just to try and go over the raised areas. Not bothered if it goes on the background at all. Like that, that's fine. dry this off and soak that It doesn't take long to dry. And then what I'm going to do is just, because I haven't done it yet, is just to paint the inside of the frame. Um, so I'm just going to give that a quick flick of white acrylic now I'm taking my time with this normally I would have had this canvas done by now um, because they are very very quick to do but I just want you to be able to see it step by step Okay, so we'll just pop that down, clean that off, put that to dry, let wash them in. <laughs> and we're we'll just going to quickly dry that off. Okay, we're ready for that. Yeah, that's going to look fab. So, I'm leaving that out at the moment. We're going to decorate this. Now, I'm just going to spray it. I need my little tub that I spray it with. Um, I'm going to remember what I did with it. <laughs> 
There we go. I swapped all my tubs round and cleaned up yesterday and oh. <laughs> um, now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of paper. Just so that it's easier to wipe clean when I finished. And I can use that anyway. Now, we're, it is pink, of course, so we're going to use the pinks. Um, and I've got a couple of uh, different pinks. I also want to use a gold on it as well to mix in with the background. So the first one I've got is the Sprinkies. And this is the raspberry. Well, I'm just going to... It's quite pink, <laughs> but it'll match. Okay. Don't forget to spray it in the... It's got them holding it wrong. Let me just try and lift that up. In the nooks and crannies and go down into those oh I get covered in this stuff <laughs> I get covered <laughs> I just want to make sure I've got in all the nooks and cranny bits and then what I'm going to do is lay that down and just spray the inside of it. Because I'm holding it at the wrong angle. Take the tissue off, mate. Okie dokie. And then... I have a look. I'm pink. Useless. Okay, okay. Just gonna shift that out of the way and wipe it clean. There we go. And then I can put that back. I'm managing to keep up to everything. I have to remember and promise myself to clean up. <laughs> put everything back. Right, so we're just gonna dry this off. I need that tray out, don't I? Because I'm doing another colour silly arm. Nearly said something else then, ladies. And gents, of course. I love the texture on it. Must remember to dry it off as well. What? 